What's up you guys? Welcome back to Herodotus Learning. Today what we have here is a pair of binoculars from the Spanish-American War in its original case. This thing is perfectly fine leather. It's gotten a little old over the years. A lot of chippings here. But so far it's, the case is in really great condition. Spanish-American War started in 1898 after the battleship Maine mysteriously blew up in Havana Harbor in Cuba. Now, a lot of people debate over what happened that day. Some say Spanish, and that's a popular theory, that the Spanish had a mine that blew up the ship. Others say, hey, maybe it was sabotaged within the inside from the engine room. But to this day, we still don't know. There's a lot of theories as to what goes on there, but for now, let's take a look at this case here. Now, this is very, very great leather here. Very great work. The buckle's right here to open it up. Already loosen it up to make it easier for here. Look at that here. This has definitely seen better days, I'll tell you that. Now, when you open it up, binoculars are right there. Set down like that. And here we have them. Right here. Let's set them down right there for now. Now this is our case here. If you want to take a look at the inside. See the markings from the... The little markings are right here. Let's set it down right there. Now, binoculars were very important throughout a lot of wars, and they're still used today. Um... They're great for just looking at things from a far distance. They're that straightforward like this. Um, the thing with these old ones is when you look through them here, if any of you have seen Spongebob and you've seen Patrick. I need my glasses. Hmm. It's just like that. Now, these things were made in Paris. And a lot of uh, military gear was made at the time there. France was doing pretty well. Here you have your focus here. So that you try to focus things within distance here. Now the Spanish-American War is one of those wars that's often forgotten in American history. Mainly because it wasn't that big. So what I really appreciate about the war is... How it really just made America a huge superpower within the world. America defeated Spain, who was seen as a world power. And that, when Spain was defeated by a bunch of cowboys and Theodore Roosevelt that day on San Juan Hill, it really demonstrated that America was going to be a world power to the rest of the world. The thing with the Spanish-American War is President McKinley once said that I shall never get into a war. Now, after the battleship Maine blew up, there was no other option other than to go to war. So, Americans, and this was a really great unifying, in my opinion, helped unify the North and the South, because you had a lot of tension still between the two around that time. And this was a great unifier within a country, because war helps unify a country, usually. As for these binoculars, they're not that heavy. They're actually really light. Maybe weigh around a pound or two. See a lot of the stuff here is fading, chipping away paint. Keep thinking of Patrick every time I look at these lenses. Mm. Oh yeah, I forgot to show y'all. Let's us know Paris, where they were made. So that's all I have here today for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really encourage you guys to learn more about the Spanish-American War. That's a period in American history that isn't studied that much. So if you liked what you saw here today, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video and keep on learning, okay? Have a great day.